one of the things that I realized when I was trying to get the animal scene um, and all this scene to 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 the project was the fact that I just see that like for instance a plant scene it's like 92 megabyte who's gonna download 92 megabyte you know uh animal scene is like uh 16 megabyte who's gonna download that so we're gonna have to optimize that to actually get it in a small size for somebody to actually be able to download that so yeah join me as we actually run the the, the the optimization for those of you guys who are dealing with 3d and you always had the same struggle but you didn't know how to optimize be with me today you're gonna learn that thing right so in most cases in 3d design especially if you are dealing with this format of .gltf uh, or the .glb which is the latest format they usually call it uh, the mp3 for for web you know it's more like the mp3 it's more flexible and easy to transmit you know so one thing actually just in general with 3d that you would find is the fact that 3d comes in with a lot of textures and some of these textures are like 2k textures stuff like that 4k and all this kind of stuff that's why you would see that you are at 92 megabyte you find that the model is not the one at 92 megabyte but it's the textures that are being used here for instance if i can just view this model just on my desktop if it will appear you see there are so many textures that are trying to uh to build this particular plant cell so that could be the one that makes the the model to be heavy so we need to optimize that leaders let's optimize that we need to optimize that so the first thing i would suggest you guys get on a tool sheet it's what you call gltf.report please do get gltf.report there then you send it here it's gonna open automatically with your models and all those kind of stuff the reason why people or even me love glb or uh, gltf is the fact that it comes with the textures it comes with the material you don't have to apply these things you know it already has that so what you're gonna do here we basically gonna now change this we want it to be dot gltf because dot gltf is the one that is able to separate the textures from from the the, the from the model itself so we're gonna need that to be dot gltf and then we can choose it to be separate because we want to deal with them and we'll choose draco compression this is what i've seen being used most of the time as as the compression so let's do that Right, let's extract this file. Uh, extract the file. As we extract the file, you will actually see something that there are so many textures. If you look at the model, the model is sitting like 82 kilometer, uh, kilobytes. That's what we have. Uh, but you check the textures. If I just go up here, and go down up here and then i just do this you see it's the one that actually uh arrives at 87.5 megabyte you know so you don't want that you don't want that so you're gonna have to deal with this particular thing and it's gonna take time so it means now i'll need to eat some little piano for me to be motivated to get all the files here and you guys can follow along. Nice, nice, nice. Let's do that.
So now we are sitting at 6.5 megabyte, which is fine. But I believe we can still go lower than that because we definitely want our model to be like 2 megabyte or something. Uh, there are many textures here, probably we could still go lower than that, especially these ones that are at 300, 600. Let's optimize those ones so that we get our model to be as small size as possible. Because remember, this thing, guys, we're gonna deliver this content there in places where internet may not be like that, you know. So we definitely want it it to be as small as possible, you know, so that it's easy for our 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 students Sisandians that size to be able to enjoy the content with no stress so we are gonna have to make try to push the model as small as possible you know yeah so let me do that and yeah we'll talk Oh yeah, this is much better, 2 megabyte. this is what we are looking for. So now the next step is to be able to join um, this file.gltf, return it back to, what's that? Return it back to .glb, so that's what we're gonna do. So there is this code, if you just search in Google from CZNGS, gltf to, GLTF pipeline, you know, so you need to get that code and then as you scroll below then there is Commands that you can use uh, for your terminal or command prompt to actually move it uh, back to dot GLP. so let's do it Uh, let us so one thing that we have to do because now we can control the gltf with the code is that um you can now open the file your gltf file on vs code and we need to change the format because if you come back here you'll realize that majority like the initial file majority of stuff were jpeg and png but as soon as i did the update we started not to have um especially the one that i um the one that i compressed they are gp the jpeg file so now we need to come back here and update to see these files are no longer png they are more jpeg file so you're gonna get some horrible numbers like this that you have to go and edit throughout so i'll show you now so what you will do now you come to the type of the image you must specify that it's jpeg and the file at the end you must specify jpeg i mean jpg so that's basically what i have to do now and i'm gonna keep quiet so that we can get this job done very quickly because if i don't
right, let's give it a try again. Let's give it a try again. So we just done uh, converting all the stuff that needed to be pinned to be JPEG. We turned them all of them into JPEG. So now we gonna give it a try again. Let's give it a try. Oh, I got the spelling wrong. <laughs> I got the spelling wrong. Let's give it another try. Ala la, now it's done. Total 23 milliseconds. It's done. Now you will see. Now we have a new file here. 1136. 1136. This is a 2.6 megabyte file. And let's check if it's actually looking good. Um, let's actually check if it's actually looking good. Uh, Drag this one to here. Alala, we still have all those details at two megabyte file. So I'm <laughs> gonna be doing other like that, you know, because we have animal cell. Animal cell is also big. So I'm gonna be going through all of them, optimizing all of them, and connecting them. But I'm glad you guys from this brief tutorial, you guys can be able to to see and how to actually get this thing small because it's important to get our content small so the next one that i will do is actual animal cell respiratory system i've already done then i'm gonna do bacterial cell uh muscular system uh this ones i think they um they are faulty i'm gonna remove them i'll get another hat and i think i'll also do the skeleton i mean the smaller the better the smaller the size the better alala let's do 